Hello my beautiful friends, it is Mimi here today and I'm so happy and grateful to be here today because I haven't done a favorites video in so long, in way too long and so many of you have been requesting a new updated favorites video so that's what this video is going to be today and also I wanted to say if you'd like for me to do monthly favorites again like I used to then definitely make sure to like this video down below and share this video if you enjoy watching it so today I have incredible amount okay not too many probably about eight items that I want to share with you but all of the favorites that I will share with you are things that I use on daily basis so it's very practical some of them are life-changing and for that reason I couldn't wait to make this video in fact I wanted to let you guys know when I don't do a sit-down video for a long time I always talk to you guys in my head like all the time and I think okay I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna say that and I'm gonna film this so I'm really excited I'm planning to film a few sit-down videos for you guys in the next few weeks so if you're looking forward to those then stay tuned but today it is going to be a favorite videos so just current favorites things that I have been using for the last few months that I really love enjoy and believe are worth to be shared in the favorites so I'm gonna start now because I can make this video really really long if I just talk about how much I missed you guys because I have let's get started so the first favorite I'm gonna share with you today is definitely the most important favorite of this whole video and I've been so excited to share this book with you it's a book that I read I think it was the end of May beginning of June that's when I was listening to it as you guys know I love audible I don't really have time right now in my life to just sit down and read a physical book so I consume all of my books through audible app or I listen to podcasts so yeah going back to the book of the favorites it is called letting go by dr. David Hawkins I've recommended this book to a lot of you guys who like private message me and ask me certain questions I'm like read this book but I couldn't wait to just sit down and tell you a little bit about it I don't want to make this whole video a review on this book but I definitely could if I wanted to but I just want to say to you guys and you guys know I read a lot of books this this is in the top three most important books I have ever read in my life. Just to emphasize the importance of this book and how much it has helped me as a human being to be happier and healthier internally, externally. This is a book that was actually recommended to me by my sister Layla. Thank you Layla, I really appreciate it. I've noticed a lot of changes in Layla. She's become, she's always been very positive, but she's become even more positive. Just even her language, the way she talks about her present and future, it was just different. I've noticed a big difference in her. Then we started talking just talking about books that we've been listening at the time and she said that she really wants me to listen to this book which is called the letting go of course I trust her opinion and I listened to it like within the first few days of when she told me when she recommended the book and it was like oh my god this is exactly what I was looking for the reason I really love this book and I already made the introduction so long but I'm just so excited so okay now I'm gonna make the rest of it short why you need to listen to this book this book talks about how to let go of a lot of suffering so you can be happy happier, healthier, more upbeat, more positive. And when you are more positive and when you're more upbeat, guess what? You attract more of that into your life. When you're negative, when you're resentful, when you're hurting, you attract more of that, more of that negativity in your life. That's what the book talks about. It's like a practical guide on how you can learn to let go of all the garbage, all the emotional drama that is stored in your body. What I really like in this book is that, oh, there's a few things, but one is that the author in the book, he's a real doctor. He talks about how most of the disease that we experience as human beings are psychosomatic, meaning that they come from inner stress or inner tension that we hold in our bodies. Probably most of it comes from some kind of trauma in the past. And until we learn to let go, it is going to cause suffering and pain physically or mentally in our lives. But if we learn to let go of that pain and these issues that we're experiencing, these tensions, the stress, then we heal our bodies of the physical, emotional, and mental issues that we're experiencing, which are ruining our lives and our happiness and preventing us from being successful in our relationships and business and career in anything. So again, I'm going to try to keep it short. That's 
one thing that I really liked about it. The second thing that I really liked about it, he explains how we all sort of live in different energy dimensions. Like we all calibrate at different energy levels. Like some people are at fear, some people are at anger, some people are at pride, some people are at creativity. And then there is like peace and love and then like unconditional love. And then there is, well, the ultimate thing is enlightenment. So every single level of our existence calibrates at different energies. And when we calibrate at that, we attract more of that. I just never found a book that talked about it in such a practical way where I could logically understand it. It wasn't just like metaphorical. It was like, this is the actual energy calibration. And he says like 500, whatever, or 700, 200. So the lowest is the negative and the, the highest is the positive energies. Again, as you can see, I am very, very excited. I normally just listen to an audiobook, but in this case, I bought a physical book and I'm planning to reread it and actually, yes, actually physically find the time and sit down and read this book and highlighted because I read it months ago and I feel like now I already need to reread it and remind myself because when I read it first I was like on a high I felt so amazing and what I really like about this book again I'm going back to all these points that I really like about it that the author says that in order to be happy you don't need to go meditate in Himalayas for 30 days or a month or a year or a lifetime you can do it in your everyday life and it, then again he gives you the tools to practically do it in your day to day that is all I'm gonna say about this book you must read it like I said it's in the, my top three favorite books of all times so definitely recommend for you to read it and then of course I would love to hear your feedback on it as well moving on to the next one. Another very exciting favorite that I wanted to mention to you guys today is an app and it's an app called Sweat. This is not a sponsored video. I'm paying for this app every single month. So Sweat is a workout app and as you guys know I love to work out. I don't do it all the time consistently but I try to be regular with my workouts. When I say regular, two to three times a week. I did have a trainer before. I do recommend having a trainer. If you've never worked out, I think it's great. I'm planning to actually do a video on my ideas, philosophy about workout and healthy eating. If you guys like to see that video, let me know down below, but I'm just gonna keep this about the app. So I used to have a trainer before. I do believe that was very important at the time where I just gave birth to Alexa and I wanted to get back in shape, but then a lot of the trainers have schedules and my schedule is busy most of my time is either Alexa work and then trying to like manage other things in my life I just realized I want to work out on my time which is like early in the morning when I first wake up I don't have the time to commute to meet a trainer so at home is the easiest most functional realistic way I can actually be consistent with my workouts that's why I decided to try the app I've heard a lot about it. I follow the founder on Instagram. I think her name is Kyla. So I really like what she's doing. I wanted to give this app a try, even though it is quite expensive. I believe it's about $19.99 a month, but I did want to give it a shot because if you pay a trainer, you're paying anywhere from 45 to 100 an hour. And if you have this app, you can basically use it unlimited for a month. So I will say I definitely, definitely love it. I saw results almost similar to when I had a trainer. Again, it's easier for me because a lot of the workouts in the app I find that are things that I've already done so I already know how to do them but it's almost like a little bit of accountability the app shows you how to do everything it sort of gives you your workout plan and every workout is slightly different and then it gets more advanced it's like having a virtual trainer the best you can get with a computer or a phone anyways it's still better to have a physical person if you can afford with your time and money but I think if you don't have the time or the money to go out and have a trainer this is as close as you can get to a trainer so definitely recommend it if you want to get back in shape look into this app I think you can try it for free at first and then if you don't like it you can cancel but I definitely had great results and I'm still using it and even Alex a lot of times works out with me as well so it's good not just for females but also for guys as well so the next favorite of the month is actually I'm having tea right here and this is a vanilla rooibos tea with some oat milk which I'll talk about next but the favorite of the month is not the tea right now but the actual kettle I might have featured this in the past like maybe years ago in my favorites but because I use this kettle every single day like four or five times a day I think it deserves another feature this is a Japanese brand Kinto the reason I really love this kettle and I think or teapot does not really kettle the reason I really love this teapot and I think it's superior to all the other teapots because I'm a bit of a fanatic when it comes to tea and teapots is the strainer part most conventional teapots will have a strainer 
container which is like separate little thingy where you put the loose tea and then you have to kind of dump it and wash it and like take the tea part things out. Whereas here, it's really clever how they did it. So the, the strainer mesh thing is actually attached to the cover at the top. So you can just drop everything down when you put in the loose tea, you can just drop it down and then it strains it as you're pouring the tea, which I think is a brilliant design. That's why I love this teapot so much. We have different sizes. This is a medium size, we have a small one and we had a big one I think that we broke and we need to get another one because I really love the bigger size as well when you have people over and you want to serve um, a lot more tea than this but I literally guys use this every single day to make ginger lemon tea everything it's just easier to clean I find I just pour when I clean it I just pour a little water and then I just dump it out which makes it so much easier I guess than the other mesh strainers amazing amazing design and love this so so much on that note I'm gonna share something else that I love adding to my tea I have literally been obsessed by oat milk for the last more like four or five months I think. Well, I discovered oat milk a while ago, maybe a year ago and I tried it and I was like mm, I'm not really sure and I think I tried a different brand and then I tried this brand so this is an Oatly brand. I have two in my hand and this one is just an original which means there's literally just oats and water, nothing else. And then they have a barista one. Okay, I think I remember now when I got really addicted to it. I ordered a cappuccino at, at a restaurant and then they brought it to me. I, they told me that they don't have almond milk, but they have oat milk. So I said, fine, I'll try it. And then when they brought me that cappuccino, it tasted incredible. I couldn't believe it because the cappuccino with almond milk is like 7 out of 10. It's never like 10 out of 10. I mean, I've never had one that was 10. With this one, it literally, to me, it tastes better than dairy by far. This is the barista edition though, so by the same brand, but this is the barista one. The ingredients are slightly different. So I usually give this one to Alexa or drink it myself. I usually add it to teas or I make hot chocolate with it. This one, I just add a little bit to either my chicory. I use like a powdered chicory to make a coffee. It's kind of like a coffee. Or I steep a vanilla rooibos tea. That's what I have here right now in my teapot. And I add just a little bit of this. All you need is a little bit. So this one has water, oats. <laughs> it has rapeseed oil, so it's not that bad it's just some oil then it has like calcium carbonate calcium phosphate like a lot of vitamins added to it which I wonder why they added but anyways it's not like horrible it's nothing that I don't understand there's no E numbers like the ingredients are still pretty good and it tastes amazing I just really wanted to mention that because when I run out of these I start panicking I'm like oh my god I don't have oat milk in my fridge I need to get some oat milk so definitely try oat milk and I think even better than getting a store-bought you can try to make your own I've definitely been planning to start doing it myself but I need to get some containers where I can store it but oat milk is so easy to make at home you can just google or youtube i'm planning to make a video about it as well it's delicious so definitely give it a shot so next favorite of the month is something that my mom introduced to me probably years ago and i'm actually surprised myself i have never mentioned it to you guys let me see i don't even know what their proper name is whenever i recommend it to people i say spikes for the back and they're like what what do you mean there's two versions i have here with me this is the proper like hardcore russian spikes that you can get at a russian store maybe some eastern european stores it is very very sharp guys like if i touch it like it literally prickles it's quite sharp you use that and you lie down on it on your back or you can use it on any part of your body or you can get the more uh, softer ones these are made out of plastic I think and this is by the brand Salveo but I'm sure if you just google spikes for the back you can find many different versions and brands usually whole food carries them or any kind of organic shops or health food shops would carry something like that why this is really great my most favorite thing about it when I first discovered this was when I had a back pain and my mom just told me to go lie down on it and usually you can keep your top on like if you're wearing t-shirt like not Nothing too thick you can either go naked which I always go naked even on the sharp one and I'm telling you guys this is really sharp or obviously obviously you can go in clothes as well but I just feel like the results are not the same when you receive it it will come with a little pamphlet that explains why it works so well but I'll try to explain in a nutshell so when you have knots in your back or any kind of tension you're tense so it's all kind of crammed there when you lie down on these spikes it kind of like starts moving the blood flow everything starts starts invigorating itself 
and then the blood flow is actually what a lot of times heals and opens up a lot of the knots that you have in your back. Now I will mention that it's best to use this as prevention so if you naturally have stressful life just use this every day and you will prevent having knots in your back. Once you already have lots of knots in your back this will help to sort of maintain and not like go crazy from the pain but I think the best way to open those knots is to go see like a massage therapist. I tend to, especially since I've had Alexa because I used to carry her a lot, she walks more and more now, but I had so many knots in my back, I had to go see somebody to like open them up, but this really helps just day to day. I lie, I lie down on it for five minutes and then when I get up from it, I look in the mirror and I can see my back is sort of pinkish, so all of the blood is moving and then the next day I just feel so much better. So I definitely recommend this. Just read up all the benefits of using these. This is great for just overall well-being and also for the health of your back as well. My mom uses this every single day and she goes on naked and like she uses it on all of her body and then definitely she uses the really sharp spiky one which she says is you can even use this on your face. I haven't actually used this on my face but she says she uses it on her face for like stimulating the collagen in the face and also for cellulite you can use it on your legs so it's just amazing because it keeps the lymphatic drainage I guess that's what it does so yeah check it out all right next favorite is something that I've been absolutely loving so so much lately and it's a beauty product it's called the blue cocoon by May Lindstrom it's a beauty balm for the face I still have some I've been using it a lot lately and Alex is using it as well so it is blue when you look at it it's super duper clean so if you look at the ingredient list it's all very clean and hand selected the funny story about this product I actually met May the founder of this brand years ago at an event and I've loved what she does and I've looked into all her products but I never really got them because we live in the UK and I wasn't sure if they ship here or if they sell them anywhere here and then recently May was here in London and she messaged me she wanted to meet up so we had dinner and she brought this to me but the funny story is I've been actually suffering with some eczema on my eczema eczema I'm not sure if I'm saying it right it doesn't really matter but I'm sure you guys understand so basically I had some flaky white skin on my knees and a little bit at the bottom of my feet as well and I even had to go see a dermatologist and he told me yes this is eczema and you have to use the steroid cream and it's caused by stress and I was like great <laughs> need to know how to manage stress better. I used the cream that he gave me a few times and it didn't do anything and then I just stopped because I just looked at the ingredients and it was just so nasty. It's like a steroid cream. I'm not sure how it can prevent it from happening again but it didn't even do anything. Like I literally used it for maybe three, four days, didn't see anything and then May was in town and she gave me the blue cocoon and I've heard about the blue cocoon. I wanted to try it for so long. I used it on my face and it's amazing. It like gives you a really nice glow. The formula is really clean. It's infused with lots of oils but the superstar ingredient I think is called the blue tansy that's why it's blue it is it smells incredible I wish she had perfume because I think I would use it it just smells like a warm delicious hug I don't even know how else to describe it because I'm not really sure what the scent comes from maybe it is the blue tansy when I talked to me and I told her about my eczema she said well that's why she created this product because she used to suffer with irritated flaky skin and she had a lot of issues with skin period Period. that's why she created her brand this really helps so she said just use it on your knees you'll see it's gonna help and I used it on my knees even the first time I used it I used it in the evening before I went to sleep and in the morning when I looked at my knees they already looked better and I couldn't believe it because again I used the steroid cream for four days nothing and then I used this for like once and I could see the result and I just kept using and using and guys in within like a week it was gone the eczema was completely gone. I messaged her and she said, of course, like the ingredients here are the essential oils that calm your system. And once the system is calmed, everything goes to back to normal. So your body knows how to heal itself. So I've been religiously using this on my knees and even on my elbows as well, because they're a bit also like kind of whitish and flaky. I don't know if it is eczema, but it's not as bad as it was on the knees and that's gone as well. And then I use it on my face. You can use it under your eyes as well or on your lips. It is just amazing I wish she made like a bigger one for the body but it would probably be very very expensive because yeah this product is a bit pricey but I think if you have problematic irritated flaky skin or very dry skin mature skin if you have eczema then just like a life savior definitely give it a shot now I have a couple of fashion items that I want to share with you guys 
First is this lovely beige romantic blouse from Anthropology. When I saw this top, I just instantly fell in love because I know this is something that I will wear dozens and dozens and dozens of times. The reason to that is A, it's very romantic. I love ruffles, I love romantic shapes. B, the actual fabric is something that you don't have to iron. It just makes it easy to wear when you don't have time to iron your clothes or when you're traveling, it's easy to pack, it's light, again, doesn't wrinkle but also the actual design so it has really nice flared sleeves makes it even more romantic and the bottom is sort of flared as well and it's just a really lovely top that you can pair with jeans or you can kind of uh, wear with a nice pencil skirt something high-waisted it will just look lovely under a blazer or on its own I just love 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 it so I wanted to share it with you guys next I have this beautiful corduroy uh, pink blazer that I got from mango actually I haven't bought anything in mango in years and I was there recently and I was like oh actually there's a few cute things and this one is really really pretty I really love it because it is sort of oversized and it's a bit long you'll see it so it's almost like it's a bit of a trench coat so when it's not too cold you can wear it instead of a trench coat over a dress over any kind of outfit pants jeans with a t-shirt with a little light sweater underneath. It is so pretty. It's in the perfect cool pink shade, like a dusty rose kind of shade. And yeah, I haven't owned anything corduroy ever in my life, I think. Okay, maybe once I bought pants, but I feel like with corduroy, it just makes you a little heavy. If you already have something that's a bit heavy, like on my legs, it just makes me look too heavy. So I wouldn't wear probably corduroy like as pants or something like that, unless it's the right type of fabric. But with this, it doesn't make me feel bulky if you know what I mean because that's why I mostly would stay away from corduroy like I've have stayed away from it in the past but this one is just lovely lovely fabric it, the fit is perfect even though it's oversized it's kind of like very modern you can roll up the sleeves anyways I just love it so much I'm looking forward to wear it more and more as the weather gets cooler all right and that is all I have for you guys today I am so happy I did this yay it's been a while guys I really really missed you guys and I'm so excited to be sitting down and talking to you again if you've enjoyed this favorites video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment down below I would love to hear about your favorites since we've last chatted Alexa wants to join the end of the video you want to be part of the video come if you'd like to see monthly favorites like I used to do before then definitely make sure to like this video down below and share it so that it spreads and if you'd like to see more then I will know that by you liking it and commenting down below thank you so much for being here thank you so much for being patient with me I'm so excited to share more videos with you guys more talking videos sit down videos maybe some videos with Alexa thank you guys I love you very very much and I'll see you soon bye you want to blow a kiss Oh, you're so you. sweet. Cause I love you. Bye. Oh, I love you. Bye. <laughs>